Hi everybody, welcome back to Pete's Classic Cycle. Pete here, and today we're gonna to be talking about tuning carburetors, specifically on this 1985 Kawasaki GPZ 900R. Now like anything, when it comes to working on these old bikes, there's a dozen different ways to do it. Everybody's got their little tips and tricks that they've learned and passed down from generations. So if, if you have any of those that you'd like to share, please feel free to write them in the comments below to share that knowledge with everybody else because that's how this community grows and learns together. Now, after all of my research prior to working on these carbs, I could have gone with mercury tubes, I could have done the vacuum gauges, I could have waved two sticks in the air, praying to the carburetor gods, hoping that this thing fixes itself, but I decided to go with something a little bit more modern, and that is the DigiSync Digital Carburetor Synchronizer. Now, this thing is absolutely incredible. It's this nice, compact little unit. It comes with all the adapters and additional hoses that you need for any application. It comes in different configurations, depending on how many cylinders you're working with, from two hoses all the way up to six, if you've got a CBX or Benelli. Obviously, I went with the four-cylinder application. That's kind of what I'd be using most. I don't have any two-cylinder bikes or six cylinders at this time. All that aside, I've already played with this a little bit and it's incredibly easy to use, even for a big oomph like me. So if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it at home. It's super, super simple. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of doing the final tuning on these carbs and what it takes to run one of these DigiSync synchronizers. So as you can see, I've got the DigiSync hooked up with all the tubes connected to the vacuum ports on the carburetors. Now it doesn't matter which tube goes to which carburetor, the only thing is you do have to keep track which one it is. So to keep it simple, I just want one, two, three, four. If you want to run on random order, that's entirely up to you. I highly recommend you keep it organized though. So once everything's hooked up, first things first is to turn this on to allow the unit to auto calibrate. You can see there, it's just going to go through its startup procedure, calibrating with engine off, of course. So with the calibration done, there you can see I've got my RPMs, I've got all the current vacuums on each cylinder. So all that's left to do now is to fire up the bike, warm it up, make sure my idle is exactly where I want it, and then I can begin to balance off the carburetors. Now full disclosure, I am pretty new when it comes to tuning this type of carburetor, especially being my second time with the DigiSync. So please forgive me for being a little bit cautious and taking my time in the process, or maybe even making the odd mistake here and there. If you guys have any questions, comments, or critiques, please again, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. So the bike warmed up and the RPM set for where, where we want them. We can start to see some discrepancy between cylinders one and two. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna balance one and two together, then balance three and four, and then do the two halves together. One and two are close together, and three and four are really close together. I'm gonna to go ahead and balance off the two sides, and that should finish off the, the tune. numbers there. Doesn't get much closer than that. Really good. Awesome. Mwah. Absolutely love it. Yes, it sounds like a bike again. A good running bike for that matter. Oh, that is awesome. Mission accomplished. There you guys have it guys, the DigiSync Digital Synchronizer. Absolutely amazing. Again, I took my time. It was my second time using this thing and, and really second time tuning a set of carbs like this. But you saw how easy it was, the, how accurate the numbers were. Absolutely incredible. Love it, love it, love it. That's a big win for the DigiSync from Pete at Pete's Classic Cycle. Thanks again for tuning in and as always, please ride safe.